This is Charles K.O. with Travel Mall TV in New York City on 44th Street at the Schubert Organization's headquarters uh, right in front of their theater uh, and in the Sardis building um, with Charlie Flateman who's one of the management people looking after marketing and other things. Good morning Charlie. Hi Charlie, how are you? Excellent, great to see you. You too. Let's start by uh, telling us a little bit what does the Schubert organization do? What besides Schubert Theater and sure. things? So the, the Schubert organization is the oldest uh, continuous theater uh, producing entity in America. We now own 17 Broadway theaters and one off-Broadway theater, another theater in Philadelphia um, and Washington and Boston. Um, but we are the largest theater owner on Broadway. Um, in addition to that, we also run the consumer ticketing business that services about two-thirds of the Broadway theaters called telecharge.com. And we run a wholesale division called Broadway Inbound that services pretty much all of the online wholesale um, ticketing activity for Broadway. So that's some of the things we do, um, as well as the uh, passionate part of our business, which is we produce plays and musicals. When you say the oldest, how far back does it go? Uh, the, the business goes back over 100 years. Um, and in, in that time, the Schubert organization has owned theaters all around the country um, and had divested of uh, most of the theaters outside of New York uh, long ago, about 40 or 50 years ago. So, so now the, uh, the remaining theaters are here, um, primarily here in New York City. And most of this real estate uh, that we're in is uh, in fact owned and operated by the Schubert organization. At one point, I presume it was a family-owned and run business? There, there, there were uh, two Schubert brothers. In fact, this uh, space we were in now was one of the Schubert brothers' um, uh, apartment. The two brothers were Lee and JJ. Um, the other brother worked across the street above the Schubert Theater. Um, that was JJ. And then Lee worked and lived here in this space. Um, for the last about 10 years of their lives, uh, although they m managed the business together, they actually never spoke. Um, and they <laughs> communicated by messenger that would run up and down these floors, uh, passing notes to one another, um, because they, uh, they, they didn't get along toward the end of their lives. It's, it's sort of an interesting story. And now, are they still family involved? No, there's no more, there's no more family involved. Um, the Schubert organization is now um, owned by the Schubert Foundation, as a matter of fact. And the Schubert Foundation is the largest donor or contributor in America to um, theater and to dance uh, of any private or public entity in the, in the United States. In terms of production, uh, how many do you have right now? Well, right now is a good time because this is, this is our busy season. Um, so every one of our theaters is, uh, is filled um, right now. We, uh, it, it is somewhat seasonal, so some of the plays, as opposed to the musicals, the plays um, operate on a 12 or 14 week season, so they'll shut down, some of the theaters will shut down for the summer and then reopen in the, uh, in, in the fall. Um, but the large musicals will stay on um, for quite a long time. So some of, our, uh, so some of the musicals that we have in our theaters include um, Phantom of the Opera, um, uh, Mamma Mia, Matilda, which is uh, a new beautiful show this spring, Cinderella. Um, there are a number of things uh, that we have coming on the way. Rocky the Musical will be coming in next season. So there are some very, very large musicals and uh, we, we do quite a bit of them. How much does it cost to to, to produce a show now? Um, well, to produce a play without music um, can cost about two million dollars and we've seen some musicals that can get very large that can get up into the tens and twenties of millions of dollars. So a, uh, pr producing a musical is a, is a risky venture. Um, it's like creating a startup business that has to have all of its cylinders working right out of the gate and then you learn on opening night whether uh, the critics and the consumers found it appealing and you could lose all your money very quickly, um, as many have, or you can have a show that will last for 
for dozens of years um, if you're if you're very very lucky. So as the the saying goes on Broadway, it's it's hard um, it's it's hard to make a living, but you can make a killing. The Phantom's been running. 25 20, years? 25 years. We, we just had the 25th anniversary celebration of Phantom, uh, which was a wonderful night in the theater because we had all of the Phantoms and lots of the cast came back to, uh, to celebrate. So they were on stage. We had four or five, uh, I think it was five Phantoms singing at the same time. <laughs> uh, Phantoms from all over the world. Um, the, the Broadway shows often spawn productions that travel um, throughout the United States and, uh, and globally. So the Phantom Company, there were probably six, um, six simultaneous productions of Phantom happening um, in the world within the past uh, two, or, two or three years. And that's not uncommon for a mega brand like Phantom of the Opera or Wicked or Mamma Mia. So uh, across the street, uh, I think it's Imperial Theater? The, the no, Majestic Theater. Yes. The, the How many people have seen the Phantom there in the 25 years, oh, would I, you I, guess? I wish, I, well, well. Hundreds uh, um, of thousands? Oh, yes, eas easily uh, hundreds of thousands. I'm wondering whether it's, whether it's millions at, at this point. Millions. It's, uh, several hundred, it's several hundred thousand every year. Um, so over 25 years, it's who knows how many millions have, have, have seen it, just here in New York, as well as around, and uh, as many have seen it around the country and around the world. Distribution-wise, sounds like you have your fingers, the Schubert organization, and, and all sorts. The, the data aspect th that you provide to other websites, your own direct consumer. Yes. Um, we have a robust affiliate program um, for, for partners that want to just link to us. Um, we also distribute to um, virtually every uh, online website that is selling tickets, so Orbitz, Expedia, Travelocity, Priceline, Viator, and just uh, to name a few out of the hundreds that, um, that we distribute tickets to in a private a wholesale way, um, as well as through our API. So we have a number of clients are signing on to our API, and they're getting lots of information, both the information ability to sell tickets on a free sale basis, which of course is key to the travel industry, that there's no requirement to have wait for confirmations or things like that. Um, instant confirmations is sort of the the hallmark and makes what uh, what that program really works. Um, it makes that the instant confirmation necessary to make those programs work, and they have been growing exponentially. If I'm a travel agent, but you know, smaller one, where mm -hmm. I'm not interested in hooking up on an affiliate site basis, uh, how could I book and make a buck? You can log into our um, private website. We have to set you up as a client. Mm -hmm. Essentially, the travel agent would. Um, provide us with their company credit card. We would then in turn provide them with a net rate and from that net rate they'll see that they have the ability to mark up the tickets about 20, uh, usually about 20 percent. It varies from show to show, um, but most commonly it's about 20 percent that they, can, that they can mark it up underneath the consumer price that's out into the marketplace. So we have, we have really excellent net rates um, and since it's with a company credit card, you don't need to have hundreds of tickets in order to be able to do it. Anybody can. Anybody What's that website? It simply, it's it's uh, broadwayinbound.com. And if I have, uh, if I'm involved with meeting conferences, incentives, groups, yes. uh, th there's I presume a button there that for groups. We have a button for everything. Uh, <laughs> so yes, there is, there is a button there for groups and those groups can all be booked online if somebody wants to. Um, we also have an extensive staff of, uh, of, of group consultants that handle groups from as small as eight to whole house buyouts that we do from time to time where somebody could take over an entire theater um, for, an in, for an incentive or for meetings. Um, we also sort of merge the FIT program for conventions um, so a, a, a convention manager doesn't have to decide that they only want to see one show. They could offer to their uh, attendees this, a selection of a dozen shows and book them all as individuals and earn, um, earn that markup that we were talking about for everybody. So, so 
for us, it's about having the flexibility that our customers and our distribution partners can really make their own choices and not get locked in and mostly not have to take any risk. In, when, in, in the old days, when a convention manager wanted to buy a group, they would often have a lot of waste. They might buy 100 tickets and only need 90. And the margins um, uh, evaporated when that, when that happened. In this environment, if they need 90, they just buy 90. If they need 80, they buy 80. If they need 100, they buy 100. On free sell. On all, free all sell. block space. All, all mm. on free sell. So it's a, it's a risk-free way of, of doing it, and uh, clearly it's, it's caught on because this business is, is growing for us in a, at a very rapid clip.